How are you guys? We're on to another Friday. It is, uh, what is it, October, October 7th. And uh, we're going to be talking about DBs. Now, you can't be a musician or an audio engineer without hearing about DBs um, every now and again. So what the heck are DBs? Well, they the, uh, stands for decibel, which is a tenth of a bell. So that's it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. No, you wouldn't be satisfied with that, right? What is a decibel? Well, before we get into knowing exactly what they are, let me just explain a couple of things that will kind of change your perception about what decibels are. The first thing is a decibel is not a unit of measurement, you know, an empirical measurement like an inch or a gallon or something like that. I mean, a gallon is a gallon is a gallon is an inch is an inch is an inch. But dBs are not an absolute measurement. They always uh, are an expression of a ratio of the amount of change between a reference level and the other thing, whatever that is, if it's a watt or a volt or a sound pressure level. So that's what a decibel is. The other thing you need to know about decibels is that they uh, represent a logarithmic scale, an exponential scale. And we'll get into that, you know, the reasons for that um, a little bit later on. So remember that dBs are a ratio of change that always need to be referenced to something. Uh, you know, a, a kind of a dopey example is that if you saw a laundry detergent ad and they said, now 30% brighter. And you say, well, 30% brighter than what? You know, 30% brighter than mud? That doesn't sound really good. So if you hear someone pontificating about, uh, well, I really like my uh, uh, my snare to be 7 dB. And so, well, that means nothing. 7 dB compared to what? It really is a nonsensical uh, statement. It, it's always got to be related uh, to something. Uh, just a little fun fact or tidbit about a decibel. You know, what is it? Is where do we get this decibel thing? What's well, a tenth of a bell? And bell uh, was a measurement of signal loss used by the uh, the Bell telephone company, named after Alexander Graham Bell. And they would measure signal loss over really long lines, long runs of telephone wire. And they came up with a bell. We adopted that in uh, audio parlance, but uh, what we found was the bell was too coarse a measurement. It was kind of like, you know, measuring the carpet in your home in miles. You know, you don't use that measurement uh, for, for the length of carpet, right? You use something more appropriate. And so in that situation, that um, a tenth of a bell is a better way for us to work with it. It ends up being a decibel is about... The, the minimum amount of difference that our ears can perceive. And remember, all of this comes down to, you know, what happens here in our ear. And we tend to hear in a logarithmic scale uh, as well. So let's have a look at the various ways that we can use dBs. We can use dBs to measure loudness. That's the actual energy of, you know, what's vibrating our ears, right? We can also measure dB in analog in either uh, lowercase u, lowercase uh, v, uppercase v, depending on whether we're dealing with professional or semi-professional equipment. Again, probably not too much. We'll, we'll get into that. And the other one is dBFS, stands for digital, um, uh, dBs from full scale. And remember I said before how everything was measured against something so if if you get nothing more about dbs it's just very useful to measure loudness and also the uh the reference points you know between uh gain stages and and, and things like that so let's look over here in loudness so this is db spl standing for sound pressure level and we go down here at basically what we the reference point in um, dB sound pressure level is always down here. Zero dB is expressed as the threshold of, of perception or the, the threshold of hearing. So if a needle drops, that's a little picture down there of, of a needle. I don't know whether I can see that. Okay, yeah, that's probably better. So that's a needle there. If we can just, you know, it's a tiny needle drop we can hear there. And 120 dB is a jet plane, you know, uh, going right next to us. That's the threshold of pain. This represents 120 decibels of um, 
uh, of, the, of differences between where, what we can barely hear and basically where uh, nearly our ears are bleeding, right? And all of these dBs are expressed upwards from that reference point of our, our, um, uh, our perception of, uh, of hearing. So this is a logarithmic scale um, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 40 and 50 is about, you know, where conversations would be. So if you're you know, talking with someone right next to you, that's going to be around 40 or 50 dB, about halfway, uh, you know, the halfway point. I'm trying to get not so much glare on there. So that's about the halfway point between threshold of hearing and also uh, pain here. And the reason this is logarithmic is because the difference between just you know, stuff I can barely hear there at a very soft finger snap. The amount of uh, actual, um, it's measured in, in pascals, the amount of, of sound energy between just barely hearing something and, a, you know, just a little bit more so that we can perceive this is a little louder than, you know, just this. Um, that's kind of a linear thing that you've had a little bit more sound pressure level and we can hear it a little bit louder. But when you get up to really loud things, so in other words, the first, say, 3 dB from I can't hear anything to, ah, it sounds a little louder, is a little bit more energy, right? You got the other end going from a loud rock concert to, oh my lord, my ears are starting to bleed. And... That might be the last 3 dB of sound pressure level that we perceive as different. But the, the change in actual energy in that is so monumental that we can't really represent that in a linear way. The graphs, you know, the way we talk about it just won't make any sense. So that's why the, the, all of this stuff is in, in, in logarithmic scales. If you're really interested, you can look at uh, F1 over F2, uh, 10 times a log and all that stuff. So we won't get into that. We'll try to get away from the math. So all I want you to know from here is that we have a number of different uh, things that we can measure uh, dB in. dB SPL, which is how loud something is. Um, in the analog world, um, depending on whether you have professional equipment or um, uh, semi-professional equipment, Everything's going to be referenced to a reference voltage. If it's pro equipment, it's going to be plus four uh, with a reference voltage of 0.775. Um, if it's semi-professional, it's going to be minus 10 with a reference level of, of one volt. Blah, 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 right? Here's all I want you to take from that is the reference voltage right here. You'll notice in analog equipment that there'll be a zero dB mark on some of the meters there and it can go down from that. And it can go up from that, right? You can uh, bump up. Basically, this reference voltage is where that piece of equipment is happiest. It's, it's where it's kind of wants to see it's, uh, it's, it's optimized for, basically. And you can boost that up and you can bring that down. And you can boost it up a number of dBs, which, again, is a reference to this reference voltage. Or you can bring it down. Again, SPL is a measurement up from our threshold of hearing. In analog gear, it's a measurement up, slightly up and a lot down from a reference voltage. And then there's a dBFS, which means full scale. Uh, whenever you represent a, um, uh, a digital signal, it's basically, uh, we might get into this in the, in the coming weeks at how, how digital audio actually works, but it's basically, it's representing this analog signal, which is normally just a, a voltage, this you know, a voltage swing, it's representing that in um, digital language, you know, bits and bytes. And if you have um, a 16-bit uh, word, if you have a 16 or a 24-bit system, if each word is maxed out, they're all at ones, all the way across, then you will have a full scale and that's where zero dB is on our digital, um, in our digital realm right here. Full scale is everything turn up. You can't go above that. It'll sound like junk. Well, actually, you can't even go, go above that. So this is always expressed downwards, back from 
a zero, your zero dB is at full scale right here. So how does this all work in terms of your, uh, your mixer and your faders and things like that? The great thing about um, uh, uh, using dBs is that you can, it's very easy to add them up. So uh, let's imagine if you had your input trim, your, your, um, uh, your fader, and maybe a master, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, gain stages, we call them gain stages. Now, if each of those amplify um, the, uh, that signal, you know, X amount, you'd have to have all this convoluted math, but if you work them out in dB, uh, in, in dB in terms of gain, if the first one boosted, you know, um, 3 dB, the second one boosted um, 6 dB, then you would have 9 dB. It's a very easy way to express um, gain stages because you, wow, it was loud. Um, so you just express everything as just the addition or the subtraction of those various gain stages. Works out really well and you'll see it quite often here on faders when you have um, a fader here and you'll see zero right next to it. That's called uni the, the unity point. In other words, if the signal is coming in at this level here, it comes out the exact same uh, level. If you boost it up, then you'll be then this will be a new gain stage and will go up you know, X amount of, of dB. Typically, to have something sound twice as loud, it'll be around 6 dB uh, boost and gain. And you'll find that these are logarithmic numbers if you look down there. The other one here is your, um, uh, your level, level meter on a analog or a digital um, console. If it is a digital console, or if this is a, a, a digital meter here, it'll probably have zero dB, uh, sorry, dB full scale up there. So that means that's the max, and you don't want to get close to that. You'll probably want to average around minus 12 from that full scale. Remember, here's our full scale here. We want to be back here so we have some headroom right there. Now, if this was an analog meter, then it would probably have something like 0 um, dB right there. And that means that the console is happiest when it's around here, but you do have some headroom. You can boost up from that and you can back down from that. So that's why you've really got to understand just, you know, when someone talks about dB, well, yeah, dB is a ratio, right? It's a logarithmic ratio. What is it describing? It's probably describing loudness. That's in SPL. Or it's... Um, it's showing the ratio between in the analog or the digital world from a reference point. And in the analog world, it's um, against a reference voltage, and that means you can go up. Here's your headroom, you know, in, uh, uh, in an analog signal here, and then you can bring it down there. In the digital world, it's, it's always expressed downwards from a, um, from a full scale. I hope that helps, helps you out there. It's... It's difficult to know how much math to get into into this, um, uh, you know, versus trying to make this easy to understand. I think the main thing you need to to take away from this is dBs are relative to something, right? And you're always depending on what realm you're you're dealing with. If you're uh, talking about absolute, you know, loudness, um, then your, well, maybe not absolute loudness, it's actually relative loudness from the threshold of hearing to pain. If you're talking about analog, it's, it's reference to a, a particular voltage. And if it's in the digital world, it's reference from everything's maxed out. How much are you down from that? And, you know, uh, we might get into um, uh, some of the resolutions of uh, bit depth and things like that. And also some of the cool things that are coming out to, uh, in terms of you know um, infinite dynamic range within uh, DAWs, uh, which is really really interesting, so they don't actually run out of bits. They can actually um, kind of dynamically give you more more or less resolution. Maybe we'll get into that sometime. 
But I hope that's helped you out. That's what DBs are. Um, let me know your um, questions or you know uh, if there's something that you, you, um, I didn't make quite clear. But I hope that helps you out. Uh, next week, we're actually going to be talking about um, kind of following on this. I'd really like to talk about how digital audio works and how it uh, changes from, from analog audio. And, uh, you know, a little bit of the math involved, right? Yep, for that. Anyway, good to hear from you. Make it a great weekend and uh, ciao for now. Bye-bye.